So there's going to be an eighth Harry Potter. It's a play. It's split into two parts and it's going to be in London next year. Hermione has been cast and she is black. Well, wait, in the movies she was white. And does this mean it's like in a different universe or a different timeline? I mean, that's a concern that I had myself when I first heard this news. But if you think about it, it's kind of an irrational argument, right? Because we didn't have that thought about like, wait, Daniel Radcliffe isn't playing Harry Potter in the play? Like we didn't think, oh man, there's a new actor coming in. It must be a whole new timeline about Harry Potter in a different universe because he was a white actor. But somehow that racial change makes us think, well, it's a totally new character now. Many people on the internet are going to be thrilled about this news as it has been long argued on many sub forums uh, of many <laughs> discussion pages on the internet that Hermione is meant to be black in the book. I won't get too much into these arguments because they've been discussed at length elsewhere on the internet, but it is clear that she is at least meant to represent ethnic minorities as a character because she is a quote mudblood, right? That's like an ethnic slur in the Harry Potter universe. Josh, but if JK Rowling meant for her to be black, then why didn't she say that she was black in the books? Now in this video, I'm not gonna get into the particulars of, well, what did JK Rowling really imagine Hermione to be like when she was writing the books? Because number one, I don't know, and number two, a lot of more intelligent people than me have discussed this elsewhere on the internet. But what I do wanna do is provide you an author perspective as to why an author might potentially not specify the race of a character even if they intended for that character to be a minority. And perhaps even in that sentence, you can hear the sort of logical fallacy that we often bring to fiction. If she meant for a character to be black, why didn't she say that the character was black? Well, that right there means that we're approaching fiction assuming that all characters are white until proven otherwise. So if an author wants to better represent minorities in his or her fiction, there are two options. Number one, of course, you can specify the race of the character. The alternative sort of subtle approach is this. You can simply leave the ethnic heritage of a character unspecified. And in doing so, you license the reader to imagine the characters as they wish to imagine them, which means that you can make your reading experience as diverse as you possibly want in reading a book where the characters are not necessarily specified in terms of their race. And that leads us to the second and what I think might be more sort of eloquent argument for why you would leave race unspecified in your character. So if you think about our modern forms of storytelling, primarily they are visual, television, movies, uh, you know, internet streaming, video, online. Uh, other than like narrative podcasts, um, the novel is the only non-visual storytelling medium that we have. In other words, it is the only place where a character can be evaluated, understood, related to entirely based on their character. That is the aspects of them that are inside of them, their personality, who they are, their values, their goals, their hopes, their dreams. And it's only possible for us to do that to relate to characters entirely removed from their race or ethnic heritage if it's a non-visual storytelling forum such as a novel and if the author doesn't specify the race of the character. Which of course is not to say that authors shouldn't specify races of any of their characters. No, that makes no sense because often your ethnic heritage does have a huge role in who we become and who we are as people. It's just to suggest to you, here are some reasons why an author could potentially be imagining an ethnic minority, but not specifically state that on the written page. Thanks for watching. We should hang out sometime. A -M -P -U -T -E.